I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I've finally got a decent webcam. I'm going to save the GoPro for a special occasion. I've upgraded a few things around here, actually. Thank you very much for your patronage. It's now keeping me fed and sheltered. That's why I have time to do more regular and more in-depth videos. Although, occasionally, there's going to be a gimme rolling into my screen on a silver platter. On guard, madam. You know what pisses me off? Would it be quicker to list the things that don't? You mean dildos? <laughs> Do they objectify men? Ah! Now I know what you're thinking! I'm thinking telepaths piss me off! Uh, another feminist who's just complaining about how hard it is to have a vagina. No, you sexist prick! <laughs> <laughs> I actually know. Um, uh, most feminists uh, come with this veneer of friendliness which is disturbingly belied by the overtly fascist beliefs they espouse. To be honest, it's rather refreshing to see someone expressing an honest human emotion. I'm complaining about the gender stereotypes in toys and it freaking pisses me off. Why does it piss you off? Is it because of the effect it has on people with vaginas? Also, I'm not a feminist. I'm a human being that believes in equality. There's either that or there's sexist people. Okay, so you're not a feminist. I'm not a feminist. You're just not a sexist. I'm not a feminist. I'm a human being that believes in equality. There's either that or there's sexist people. Gotcha. You're not a feminist and you're also not sexist. You can't say you're not a feminist and then say you're also not sexist. But that's exactly what you just said. I, did I mash that up from two completely different points in the video? Or do they come one right after the other? You can tell from the music. I'm not a feminist. I'm a human being that believes in equality. There's either that or there's sexist people. You can't say you're not a feminist and then say you're also not sexist. That's not a thing. <gasps> That's not a thing. How can I not poop this? You can't say you're not a feminist. I'm not a feminist. I'm not a feminist. And then say you're also not sexist. I'm a human being that believes in equality. There's either that or there's sexist people. You can't say you're not a feminist. I'm not a feminist. I'm a human being. That's not a thing. You can't say you're a feminist. You can't say you're not. That's not a thing. That's a thing. That's not. You can't say you're not not a feminist. You can't say you're not 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 a feminist. You can't say you're not 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 a feminist. Equality. 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 That's, That's not, not a thing. thing. By the way, if you've never seen one of my pissed off videos before, I might suggest that you turn the volume down on your computer, and now you're not allowed to complain about it. <laughs> I have scarcely laughed this hard in all my live long days, Rachel. And I don't think I ever will again. <laughs> I'm an expert on laughter, Rachel. This is like an expert on heroin taking the best heroin they'll ever have. Now this video was sparked not by seeing a boy toy, but by seeing a toy that said for girls only. And that freaking pissed me off. You know what that toy was? A child? A selfie kit. How is that a toy for girls only? Are you kidding me? Why is makeup for girls only? Because only girls want it. And what do you know? The people most interested in makeup are also the people most interested in selfies. Unless, unless my hat counts as makeup and this video counts as a selfie. But it doesn't, does it? Not quite. I'm saying things. It had like little cool mustaches and sunglasses. You know who would use that? My brother with his two sons and his daughter. And women. Rachel, grown ass women. How is that a gender specific toy at all? A fake mustache. 
It's for people who don't have real ones. Y you did say at all. Earlier that day, I thought that there was handkerchiefs for men and handkerchiefs for women because apparently we have different booger types. It's sort of like his and hers towels. It's supposed to be romantic, but it's also hygienic. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I think I like you. I have no idea why. And that pisses me off. So I was in the toilet and I was freaking pissed off. <laughs> Hanging around in a toilet is quite likely to get you pissed off. Ask any loose pubic hair. I've talked about this before, how when you walk into the girls section, it's all pink, and you walk in the boys section, it's like blue and black, and it's trucks, and it's tools. Okay, so you're not talking about toilets. Fucking hell. So I was in the toilet, and I was freaking pissed off. See, you, you, you definitely said toilet there. I, I think you meant uh, t toy store or something. I, <laughs> it would be in everyone's best interest if you cleared up that confusion in future. You walk in the girls section and it's Barbies and cleaning products and how to do your nails. Screw that. I, I don't piss on the Barbies is what I'm saying. Because as you guys know, as a, I don't want to say I was a tomboy growing up. I, I didn't cut that, she did. Yeah. You cut yourself off halfway through a sentence, love. Slow down, you're talking so fast that you're interrupting yourself. I was a human being that grew up and hated the color pink and didn't like Barbies. It's a, it's a good thing Barbie's pink then, isn't it? Because <laughs> you're just two birds with one stone. I mean, if Barbie was green and G.I. Joe was pink, you'd be fucked. I'm just getting angry. How did we come so far in the world and we're still telling boys that they can't take selfies with a selfie stick? No, we're telling them they can, and they're saying no thank you. And we're telling girls they can, and they're saying yes please. That Girls like to use themselves as the canvas. Boys prefer just a canvas. I don't quite see what's wrong with either of those things. And they can't like the color pink. My avatar is pink. And they can't like dolls. We've been playing with dolls since Duke Nukem, my darling. <laughs> dolls that rather resemble Barbie dolls. And we've experienced a generous smattering of pushback on that front. And they aren't supposed to clean, and they're not supposed to cook. All they're supposed to do is play with cars. You mean drive. Play with guns. You mean kill. Play with Legos. <laughs> well, that de-escalated quickly. Uh, but yes, I, traditionally speaking, girls were expected to be cleaners and cooks, while boys were expected to be builders and chauffeurs and to involuntarily sacrifice their lives. I, it swings around about, isn't it? Which I'm extremely jealous of. Again, thank you for expressing an emotion, honestly. I mean it. I'm that's probably why I like you. When you just come straight out with it, you're angry, and you're jealous, and you're bitter, and you're vengeful. Well, so am I. Those are perfectly ordinary human feelings. And the fact that you can express those feelings and own them as your own insecurities, rather than accusing everyone else in the world of being insecure, that's awesome. That's straight up ball to the wall, hot as fuck. I don't mind that you got yourself caught in that loop just now. You're at least trying, and that is more than enough for me. You would get it, young lady. I don't think I'll give you some now. <laughs> Keep talking. Don't worry, Nerf guns are also for girls now, too. It's not just boys who get to play with them. Girls get to play with them because they made pink ones. All the sexism solved, guys, because they made it pink. Yeah, they've always been pink, haven't they? I mean, ever since the 90s, sort of outdoor toys have been in that sort of fluorescent color motif. It's like yellow and pink and orange and green and sometimes blue. And in that context, no one ever cared about the pink. It's a color that lends itself well to fluorescence. So anyway, I was pissed at Target. <laughs> I came home and I was like, okay, I'm gonna look up a picture of that because I wanted to talk about it. And then I go to Target. How can you be this loud and obnoxious and still this hot? Fuck you, Spring. Fuck you. And I go to find the toy. So I go to the toy section and then it's
it says, what's your gender of the toy you're looking for? Yeah, they do that in sex shops too. <laughs> because people are different. What? I'm looking for a toy! <clears throat> Whether someone has a penis or a vagina does not determine what toy they want to play with. <clears throat> <sighs> <laughs> you know, you kind of look like Dave Grohl in the Learn to Fly video, but I can work it. Or what color they like, or what job they're gonna have. Then I started researching toys, and I was getting angry. <laughs> First off, if you Google image search toys for girls, it is just a disgusting display of pink. And then if you search toys for boys, you get a lot of different colors, but mainly black. <laughs> No turning back now. But not a pink in sight. <laughs> Why is it that girls have to like pink and boys have to like blue? Don't, don't think of a blue waffle. Don't think of a blue waffle. I hate pink. I also don't like blue that much. I like purple and green. Oh, fuck's sake. What does that make me, an alien? So, I'm just looking at things. I found a couple of really sexist toys. I was almost there, Rachel. Looking forward to a nap. What? Coloring for girls. Coloring for boys. Yes, that's been your principal complaint so far. The girls is pretty pictures to color and complete. Boys is cool pictures to color and complete. I mean, in light of the recent uh, toilet controversy in the aforementioned Target, I would be hard pushed to disagree with you, wouldn't I? But, but let's say, by all means, you could make two different colouring books if you like, as long as you're not actively banning girls from using the boys' one, and vice versa. And by all means, have one toilet specialised for men and another specialised for women. Just don't ban men from using the women's room, and so on. You may have noticed only one of these egalitarian goals has been accomplished. One... 0 0.03 if you include the transsexuals. Apparently, girls can't have cool stuff and guys can't have beautiful things. How does that make sense? I want cool stuff! I also want beautiful stuff! Well, somebody wants the moon on a fucking stick, don't they? Why can't it be both? Why do they have to change the definition? Why do they have to make one pink and one black? Why do they have to have different coloring books at all? <sighs> girls prefer faces, boys prefer mechanical objects. Get on sight. Like, even in infancy, baby girls will look at a face for longer, baby boys will look at a mechanical object for longer. Again, in my opinion, this is no reason to make them piss in different rooms, but on average there are psychological differences in there, which can be predicted to a reasonably accurate degree. I'm gonna pause right here. If you're disagreeing with me that right now, that's because you've been taught that this is normal, that this is what you like. Is it at all possible that I taught myself what I like and what is normal? Is it at all possible that you did? And that other people do as well? My parents raised us in a very different manner and is what you like is what you like. I played with G.I. Joe's, skateboards, Hot Wheels. Yes, you played with toys designed for boys. Nothing was stopping you. And... Other girls play with toys designed for girls. Nobody's trying to stop them. D except you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, congratulations for being in the minority of girls who prefer less anthropomorphic toys. For what it's worth, it might make you rather attractive. Along with that formidable face of yours. But it shouldn't irk you that most girls will choose pretty toys and toys which simulate domestic human relationships. Because most girls are evidently not like you. Embrace it, dude. It's nothing whatsoever to be pissed off about. And because my parents raised me that way, I can see the world and realize that it's so messed up. I hated when people said I couldn't do that because I'm a girl and that's a boy toy. I feel the same way about human rights. I, I advocate for my own human rights and people go, you can't do that because you're a man. Advocating for the preservation of your own human rights is a girl's toy! No, it's not. If I am able to play with it, how is that a guy's toy and not just a human's toy? Bloody good point, Rachel. Please note, I'm talking about bodily autonomy and reproductive rights 
You're talking about water pistols and coloring books. Because I have the ability to pick up a truck and go vroom, vroom, vroom. Same skills as a boy. Yeah, you need a driving license for that. And enough money to pay the insurance. Which is somewhat higher if you're a man, but whatever. Look at this! It says it's girl stuff! How is cleaning girl stuff? Can someone explain that? Well, Rachel, it's because these are domestic activities, and as a woman, you are at all times guaranteed to have a home to live in. How about this for a kicker? Okay, you would be like, Rachel, you're overreacting. It's just toys. It's just a color. How about this? A doctor's outfit for boys and a nurse's outfit for girls. Girls don't like wearing lab coats. Usually. They like wearing dresses. D nurses don't wear lab coats, and doctors do sometimes wear dresses, but generally under their lab coats. At least under their lab coats, they're just dressed in ordinary smart casual attire, the men and the women. Or all the same scrubs as the nurses. The, the lab coat is the necessary part of a doctor's fancy dress outfit. And long coats are... Well, I, quick test, Rachel. What's the hottest outfit you own? In all your closets, in all your dresses, what's the sexiest thing you could put on? Is it a trench coat? Or a leather jacket? Or a three-piece Italian suit? Because if you were a man, it would be the sexiest thing you could wear. In fact, if you're a man, just about the sexiest thing you could put on is a doctor's outfit. And maybe that's socialised, maybe it's biology, maybe it's a bit of both, but we do know that's where the chips lie. Maybe there would be less of a divide if we weren't forced to use different bathrooms. You've been to Target recently, Rachel, what are your views on that? I hope they don't fundamentally contradict the other views you've expressed here. Sexism isn't just if you treat a woman well or not. It goes so far beyond that. Does it? Such as? Uh, this isn't about how women get paid less than men. They do less work. How men cat call women. They like them. How women are still these sexual objects. Why would you cat call an object? How women get body shamed more than men. See that top you're wearing, Rachel? If I wore it, it would be called a wife beater. How a girl can put up a picture half naked and she gets called a slut and then a guy puts a picture up half naked and everyone's like, oh my god, I'm wet! From, from what you've said there, Rachel, I would deduce that you've only been cataloguing the reactions of straight women. Uh, do you understand why this is not a sample which adequately represents your proposition? Like, it, like if I said... When I show people pictures of half-naked men, they go, LOL, gay. And when I show them pictures of half-naked women, they go, Oh my god, my dick is hard. I mean, you would advise me to broaden my research, wouldn't you? I'm saying this video's not about that, but those are still problems. No, they're not. You are creating problems out of nothing. You are the problem. I've fully gone off you now. I'm talking about before we're born, before we have our ability to make our own choices, we're told that we're girls or we're boys and therefore we like different things. No, our parents are advised on the likelihood that we will prefer certain things, given the well-documented predictability of gender behaviour. They are under no obligation to enforce these things, they are merely observations about patterns and advice to get you started. And the common sense of thousands of generations of parents are in agreement with objective biological studies. The consensus is, on average, males and females are slightly different. It's stupid. I, I know you are, but what is it? So, yeah, that's it. If there's other sexist things that you're really angry about, please comment below and let me know. Yeah? Yeah, you promise you won't cry harassment and shut your comment section down? No, okay, no, good. If you think that there's someone really sexist in the world that needs to hear this rambling cockapoo that I've created, please share it with them. Thanks again to the Atheist Gamer for doing just that. Every now and again, I'm, I'm just going to pwn someone, folks. I'm still small enough to have fun.
maybe I'll alternate the stupid videos and with the slightly less stupid videos and the almost but not quite not stupid at all videos. Fun for all the family. All right, I need a shower now. My dogs need to go for a walk. If you dig my drift, oh, I fucking hate spring. <laughs>